Congratulations, Denver, and thank you, Major League Baseball. This all moved very quickly, as we had just been talking about. What usually, usually takes months or even years to happen, happened in just a matter of days. But we are absolutely honored and thrilled that Major League Baseball has selected Denver and the Colorado Rockies as the new home for the summer's all-star game. With our history of hosting major events, the Major League Baseball All-Star Game in 1998, other major sports, major sports All-Star Games, and the DNC in 2008, Denver and Coors Field are natural fits. I'm excited we'll get to see the best baseball players showcase their skills on our national stage this July right here in our city and to once again showcase Denver to the rest of the country. It's been a long year and I can think of nothing more energizing to help advance our recovery and to boost our economy than by bringing the 2021 Midsummer Classic back to the Mile High City. As you may know, we had actually submitted a bid along with the Rockies to host the All-Star Game sometime down the road. We were looking at 2024 as a target year. But when Major League Baseball reached out last week, we couldn't say no. All that advanced planning that Matthew and Visit Denver and the Sports Commission had done came in handy, and we are definitely ready to go. Hosting this event is about so much more than the home run derby or the game itself. There will be plenty of uh, week uh, of events, activities for the whole family throughout downtown Denver, and volunteer opportunities for nearly 2,000 people. And those benefits are far beyond, or will last far beyond July. By some estimates, this event will mean more than $100 million impact to our local economy. That's incredibly good news for our small businesses, our restaurants, our hotels, and our workers who have struggled and suffered through this pandemic. It took a true team effort to get to this point. I can't say enough about the collaborative spirit that defines Denver, the metro area, and the state of Colorado. It makes me very, very proud uh, when I think about that because this does not happen without that collaborative spirit. So I wanna give my sincerest gratitude to, many, to our many, many partners, especially to Governor Polis, who was dogged about bringing this game to Colorado and to Denver, and we're very appreciative. He has been a tremendous partner throughout this effort. And of course, our perennial partner in Visit Denver, led by Richard Scharf and a wonderful board. And our, of course, our, our right-hand partner in these type of events, the Colorado Sports Commission, uh, led by Matt. Matt, thank you very much for your leadership. And of course, we could not, could not have done this without, of course, our Colorado Rockies, uh, who were just dead focused on bringing this to Colorado. And so I want to thank Dick Mumford and the entire Colorado Rockies organization for being our leader and for making sure that uh, every duck was in a row to make this happen. So with that, it's my pleasure to introduce our governor, the Honorable Jared Polis. Thank you, Mayor. Welcome. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Uh, it is uh, so exciting to announce that Denver will be the home of the All-Star Game for 2021. Uh, Colorado has really knocked one out of the park on this one and landed the 2021 Major League Baseball All-Star Game. Uh, it is incredibly exciting. It, it, it means a lot to, to me personally. I grew up as a huge baseball fan, used to go to Zephyr's Games, was a Padres fan before the Rockies uh, came online. Uh, I um, played uh, for the Congressional Baseball Team in the United States Congress. I'm their all-time RBI leader, and I want fans out there to know that I'm available as a write-in candidate for the All-Star Team. Look, spring is the time of year where we hear the crack of the bat, the roar of the crowd, and I, I think I speak for many of us when I say this year is particularly special to be able to hear the real thing at the ball field, uh, not just a recording, not just on TV. And after the long ordeal our nation has been through to this point, this is a, a big relief win for our economy here in Colorado. It's really a pivotal, pivotal, pivotal turning point, not just for our return to normalcy, but the opportunity to move forward to highlight Denver and Colorado nationally, showing some of the most amazing talent from across baseball, uh, all coming here to Colorado. Get ready for a truly epic home run derby at a mile above sea level. 
uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, our Office of Economic Development and International Trade estimates the All-Star Game, the festivities around it, would add about $190 million in revenue uh, this year in Colorado. Uh, many jobs, helping some of our hard-hit businesses build back and highlighting Denver as a national showcase across the country and, frankly, across the world. And the uh, All-Star Game is really a historic homecoming. As you know, we last hosted in 1998 with the Rockies own Larry Walker on the roster. Uh, this year we're, we're hoping that folks like Trevor Story and, and others will, will get a chance to play as well and we'll see some of our uh, returning former Rockies uh, playing uh, here as well uh, on the home field. Uh, as your state's governor it's really uh, you know hard to be unbiased in my support for all the teams playing this year but I always hope for a comeback for the National League with the Rockies uh, as part of that. You know, um, Denver is really taking this opportunity. We're not, we're not taking the pitch. We're going for the fences, and with this one, uh, we got a grand slam. And I know, look, with regard to the pandemic, uh, you know, maybe we're in the seventh inning stretch and there's fatigue on all sides, but we, we're not going to leave that game early. We're going to fight this thing, this thing out. And if we want to join the walk, rock pile, watch our, uh, the greatest Major League Baseball players play, uh, we need to make sure that we continue to be careful as more and more folks are vaccinated. So uh, as we get back to normal, continue to wear a mask, avoid social gatherings. Uh, this game is in July, so none of that will be a concern by then. But what we really care about is the next few weeks, the next month. And it's time to bear down, uh, you know, we, and finish this game. Let's, let's score a complete game in Colorado on the COVID front. And then let's celebrate the very best talent from across the country coming to Denver July 13th for an amazing all-star game. Um, look, uh, if you want information on how you can get vaccinated, go to cocovidvaccine.org. The Rockies got vaccinated uh, just the other day, and you can get vaccinated too. Uh, you can also call 877-268-2926 to find providers. Look, uh, as uh, umpires, it's your call to keep others safe, keep our field of dreams open for all of the games to come. And yes, you can be the judge of how many baseball puns can be pitched out uh, as well in the coming days. So let's step up to the plate, Colorado. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, continue to celebrate all of the great uh, athletes that play professional baseball across the country. National showcase right here in Colorado, July 13th. Uh, couldn't come at a better time. And congratulations to the city of Denver. Congratulations to the Rockies organization. And most importantly, congratulations to Major League Baseball for making the best choice uh, for Major League Baseball and, of course, for all the incredible athletes and fans that make Major League Baseball possible. Thank you, and we'll be happy to take some questions. With Conrad from the Post, do you have a question? Yeah, I do. Uh, Mayor, you talked about a $100 million economic impact uh, in Denver, uh, Governor, you talked about a $190 million impact. Uh, I assume that's the difference between uh, Denver and Colorado, but can you two clarify just a little bit about that economic impact uh, to the local economy and to the statewide economy? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we could talk about it. I said more than $100 million, so I'd like to try to qualify uh, that number because it, uh, it, it aligns, I think, very well with what the governor said. And 190 is about the number we estimate estimate to do that, uh, Conrad. So I don't think there's much of a difference. But when you start talking about tourism tax with heads in the beds of our hotel rooms, restaurants, of course, larger tax coming from our restrooms, restaurants, excuse me. Um, and, and of course, all the other retail benefits that come along with it, uh, it begins to add up very quickly. Um, and we hope and expect that people will come for not just the game itself, but for the weekend that precedes, as well as hopefully stay long enough to enjoy uh, Colorado and, and Denver. I, and, and I always say this, I know I'm a bit biased, but I don't think there's a better place to be in the summer months than in Colorado with our, our beautiful uh, mountains and, and the places to visit and certainly in our, in our downtown area of Denver, Colorado. Governor, you want to share? Yeah. So, uh, you know, while, of course, Denver will be the centerpiece of the fan experience, uh, gain exposure on the national stage, highlighting the achievements of our very best baseball players. Uh, there will also be benefit across Colorado and obviously in the Denver vicinity, but also many folks who come will explore Colorado, uh, the branding that we'll get, uh, the increased traffic in restaurants and bars uh, across Colorado uh, is going to be great for our economy at a needed time. Mark, did you have a question? 
unmute. Mark, do you have a question? Unmute yourself, please. Go ahead. All right, moving to Patrick from Denver 7. Hey there, good morning. Uh, question for the governor, it's a two-parter. What work exactly went into convincing the MLB to choose Denver? And secondly, did Colorado's election laws play a role in the MLB's decision to come to Colorado? Well, look, I, I think uh, Colorado is simply the best place to showcase all the amazing talent in Major League Baseball. Um, this is, is really about giving a great fan experience. A lot of the work had been done because Colorado had, uh, had been talking about potentially hosting an all-star game down the road. That accelerated. Uh, we had great work from, from Visit Denver, from the hospitality industry, from many others. As, uh, as you know, the, the mayor and I uh, talked to the commissioner on the phone the other day, and the point I made is Den Denver is scrappy. Colorado is scrappy. We're ready to get this together and have a great experience quickly. And uh, sure enough, we came together quickly. Uh, we're able to demonstrate that Colorado is very simply the best place to highlight the amazing talent of Major League Baseball, give a great fan experience, a great national showcase. And uh, this is fundamentally about baseball, uh, and it's about the fans. And I couldn't be more excited that we're going to be able to highlight Denver uh, as the venue. Vic from CPR. Yeah, hey, Governor. Uh, first, I want to congratulate you for setting an all-time record for sports ball puns in Colorado Press Conference history. Congratulations. Uh, hey, so I want to ask about variances and, and whether, first of all, do the Rockies need one for something out in July? Did you give... Uh, did this require a variant? And talk about what you expect the stadium to look like. Obviously, it's a few months out. Do you anticipate a full house? And was that uh, something you had to guarantee baseball? So uh, the state is um, moving uh, away from our, our, our dial system as mandatory guidance uh, April 16th. I know there's been a lot of discussion in the metro region for continuing another month with that. But as we've indicated, consistent with what President Biden has said, every American who wants to be vaccinated will be able to get it by the end of May. And frankly, we're thinking it'll be closer to mid to late May, uh, which means immunity by late June. And of course, we're talking about a uh, mid-July game. So there are really no concerns from that front. Uh, everybody will have been able to be vaccinated by then. Uh, the state is um, uh, pulling back on restrictions in mid-April. Uh, many parts of Colorado will be targeting mid to late May for doing that. Uh, plenty of room there, and, and I think everybody expects uh, a fully packed sellout stadium in July, uh, and that's going to be good for Major League Baseball, good for Colorado, and, and uh, an exciting experience for fans. Yeah, let, let me just add to that because I knew that question would come up, and, and as the governor pointed out, uh, the state as well as the city, the county here, we saw ourselves aligned, or at least on the trajectory anyway, at about that time. Uh, so there was never a question about our expectation in terms of July and what the capacity of the stadium or the ballpark would look like at that point in time. Um, I'm still very optimistic, and it's in our hands here in Denver and throughout Colorado to stay, uh, continue to do the things that we have to do uh, so that uh, come July we are fully ready uh, to be at full capacity in in, in in Coors Field, and of course, you had the Broncos Stadium uh, just a month later. So this all makes sense, and this is right in on time and on schedule with what we expected anyway with regards to our capacity building and vaccination schedule. Gary, did you have a question? Already moving to Connor from Westward. Yeah, hey, uh, so I have two questions. Dinger, the mascot, gets a lot of hate. Is he a good mascot? Um, and that's for both of you. And then the other question is, um, do you think Denver sports teams unfairly benefit from an altitude advantage? Or is that just propaganda from angry fans from around the country? Well, on the second one, um, I think if you talk to some pitchers about the so Denver home team pitchers about the so-called al altitude advantage, I think they would consider it a disadvantage. So I think it, uh, it's all a matter of perspective. I think it's widely accepted that uh, hitters are advantaged at, at high altitude parks. That doesn't mean a team is advantaged. It means you might very well want to optimize your team around the advantage. Uh, we also have uh, different uh, physics and behavior of baseballs because of, of dry weather. 
Um, but uh, it, it's not an advantage for any team. Uh, it simply makes the game a little bit faster paced, and, and that's an exciting thing. I'm a Dinger fan. Uh, I think it's a historic, uh, it's exciting tie-in to the historic nature. You know, the, the dinosaur bones were, were found uh, near home plate. I think it's a good, I think it's a good mascot. And um, you know, those who are uh, those who are uh, Dinger naysayers out there, look around at all the other mascots. I mean, I used to go to Nationals games when I was in D.C. and watching those three crazy presidents' heads run around is pretty darn silly. Uh, every game, you know, I, I think is it Jefferson, Washington, and I can't even remember the third. They have some race and they can barely balance with their huge heads. I'll take a, a purple dinosaur any day over, uh, over, over three presidents making fools out of themselves. <laughs> hey, I, I'm a Dinger fan as well, but the, the coolest mascot was the Broncos mascot in 1987. Uh, just saying, huddles. Um, uh, um, but let me, let me say this. The governor is a big baseball fan. I'm a baseball fan as well, but I'm a bigger football and basketball fan. And hell yes, playing at this altitude makes a difference for the whole team if you know how to use it. Artie, is there anyone that we've missed? Yeah, Gary, Denver 7, I did have a question for uh, Mayor Hancock. Go ahead. Uh, you mentioned the All-Star Game experience for the fans. Uh, of course, that's about a week-long experience. Can you talk about what that's going to look like this year uh, and compared to 20-some years ago, the last time the All-Star Game was here, and, and kind of talk about uh, will streets be blocked off? Kind of just give us an idea of what that's going to look like uh, when that week does approach. Yeah, great question. I'll tell you that from 1998 to 2021, there's a heck of a lot more to do in Denver, in particular downtown Denver, and the metro area. Um, and I think we have a, a, a tremendous upside when you combine that with what we have outside the metro area when you get up to our mountains er mountain areas. So absolutely, um, I'm excited about welcoming folks back um, who maybe you know, go throughout the all-star experience around the country every year. I think when they get here, they're going to, if they were there in 1998 or here in 1998, they're going to see a much different downtown Denver than, than was going on in 1998. And I'm very proud of what uh, the people of Denver have built. And in partnership with Visit Denver, the, the amenities and attractions that we have brought. So uh, you can expect that there will be some um, street closures. You can expect that uh, we will try to enhance the experience and the security and the, uh, the framing of the opportunity for all the guests, as well as the folks who live in Denver, because we want folks in Denver to enjoy the all-star experience as well. So this is not anything new. Um, we have Richard Scharf and Matthew Payne here to talk about this. We've brought these type of events to Denver, just like the DNC in the 2008. It is an experience, and we work to make it a wonderful experience, and we're going to do that for the all-star game, and that may mean uh, some changes in our downtown uh, pattern. Sure, sure. And it's 23 years as a whole generation. I mean, you have people that weren't even born. Uh, the last All-Star game in Denver, 20, 21, 22 years old, that are going to enjoy All-Star baseball right here in Denver for the, for the very first time. Party folks, we're going to end it there. Thank you so much. Mayor, yeah, well, I, uh, just one quick thing, and, and uh, Richard Sharp just pointed this out. Most of the events will be, of course, we have Coors Field, um, but also at the Convention Center in downtown Denver. And, uh, and so we haven't, they haven't decided on the other venues and events that they will have occur here in Denver. Nonetheless, uh, we're ready. And we're excited for this opportunity. We're honored to, to accept this uh, opportunity on behalf of the Colorado Rockies and the Major League Baseball and experience for all Coloradoans. Um, this is a big deal, and we should celebrate as such. Thank you, Governor. Uh, thank you, Visit Denver and Sports Commission as well. Thank you all. Have a good day. Happy.